Uh, the monitoring was very similar to monitoring for codling moth or leaf roller. The traps were similar. We had them placed in locations that were close to those other traps so the trap checker when they went through would uh, give counts on both traps so it wasn't particularly more difficult just uh, with more traps of course it takes a little more time. It's, it's very different so it's difficult for me to really look at a sticky trap bottom and correlate those numbers that are typically uh, quite large uh, and what that means in relationship to biological control of aphids in, in the orchard. You, you have to get into the orchard no matter what. You've got to be in the orchard and you've got to be looking. But the great thing I like about the traps is it gives you indicators um, where you need to look harder and where you, uh, what you need to look harder for, um, what you can what you can let go and you don't have to look as hard for. So I think that the traps, they just, they give you direction. I don't think it's the answer. You, do, you can't just look at the traps and say, okay, this is all we need to do. But I, for at least for me, um, it gives me a direction to know where I need to look and how hard I need to look and what I need to look for. Actually, the sampling was very similar to some of the other uh, methods that I've used or that we currently are using right now, uh, such as codling moth or leaf roller very similar um, so it was pretty easy really. Well, I've never sampled for natural enemies using a delta trap so I really thought that was uh, comforting because that's what I use for leaf roller and for codling moth uh, trapping. Uh, I've used sticky boards and some other tacky materials that test for other um, uh, biologicals but this was this was unique and easy. Well, the benefits are to have a hard number that would reflect the actual population so that you could take that data and make decisions on potential control, whether or not the natural enemy has enough presence to stop potential damage to the crop. I think one of the benefits to using uh, traps to monitor natural enemies would be uh, presence absence. At least you'd establish that, yes, they are here. The, the benefit of monitoring natural enemies would be to um, reduce the amount of time it takes to um, monitor natural enemies in the orchard using beating trays or visual observation. I think I covered what I liked about them. You know, it gives gives you direction, and it gives you it gives you another vantage point. Benefits, I'd say again, is. I have a much better respect and understanding towards uh, lace wings um, that I did not have before. Um, again, the more I know what's going on in our orchard, the better understanding I have of it and the better I can respect and, and uh, manage my uh, programs, IPM programs, and uh, make my chemical decisions from there. Negatives is just that again, anything that we do that increases monitoring takes more time, so time is money and it means that you have to balance out potential benefit against the cost of doing the program. The drawback would be um, that there's no correlation between the numbers and the traps and what level of biological control you're achieving. Drawbacks I think could be people are going to rely on traps alone. And I think that's dangerous. I think that's dangerous. At, at least until we really nail down what they mean, you know, what they're telling us. And once we know exactly what they're telling us, it, you can rely on the traps, no problem. But I think it would be unfortunate if people would just rely on, on traps and not get out in the orchard. The only drawback was it just takes a little bit more time to um, check those traps. Mm -hmm.